Every episode of Going Low nicely represents the direction my channels are headed at the time, and the latest video reflects the U-turn that my channels are currently going through. This all started last year when I said that I wanted to make fewer, but bigger videos. This was because I noticed that it was just a handful of my videos that generated most of my channel's success. Most contributed very little to the growth of my channel. Hence why, between December and February, I researched 4K and treated every video as a large project that took days of research and polish. And in all honesty, this approach wasn't a failure, but it left me drained and very disappointed when something I'd spend so much time on didn't become a major success. At the end of the day, the increased quality didn't make up for the drop in quantity. Making videos isn't an exact science. Only with hindsight can you really tell which ones were successes, so in a way it's better to make more videos and to accept that occasionally you're going to make a bad one. Hence the return to making more, but less polished videos. Although saying that, they're still better than they used to be. In that quality stage earlier in the year, I discovered lots of cool little tricks to improve my videos with little extra effort, and I'll continue to use these moving forward. And I'll continue to upload everything in 4K. But yeah, going low. The previous episode was all about quality, about perfect camera angles and blah blah blah. But this one's more spontaneous. I'd use raw in-game footage, or a picture that isn't even full HD. I wouldn't bother getting the camera flybys looking totally smooth or anything. And you know what? I don't think that anybody will complain, and it made the whole thing a lot more enjoyable and less stressful for me as well. The aim from the word go was April Fools, but clearly I missed the deadline on that one. But it doesn't matter, because I wouldn't make a video that's just there to trick people. There's enough misinformation on the internet already. So it made sense to turn it into a full-blown Going Low episode. I've wanted to make an episode set in the past for a while to see if the series could have worked had I made it 10 years ago. This is loosely related to another idea that I've had for a while where I wanted to make an episode that didn't feel quite right. You know, with slightly different music, humour and narration. Something that would make viewers feel uneasy, as though I've suddenly forgotten how to make a Going Low episode. I doubt I'll ever make this episode, but there are little nods towards it in this one. I worked on the flashbacks first. Can't believe that I haven't already covered the machinimas that our clan used to work on. A lot of people who follow the series will be interested in seeing what we get up to. The second flashback's the weird one, and I'm not happy with how it turned out. In it, I talk about how the past seems a lot more exciting, but if you try revisiting it, you realise that it wasn't, or that things have changed that stop you from reliving it. But it comes across as very pretentious, even by this series' standards. I unearthed another version of the Sinkerbonk song and used it for this flashback. Like I said earlier, I wanted to make viewers feel a little bit uneasy, which it does well because it mixes the song that people know and love with a horrible mess of instruments. When I found it for the first time, I was like, what was he thinking? But in my dad's defence, he never intended for anybody to hear this version. I reckon he recorded himself improvising over the top of the song in case something worked, but it didn't and he never bothered wiping the tape, which is why it still exists. The intro was fun to do. This is the bit that I recorded recently. Then it transitions back to the machinima that our clan made from almost a decade ago. The copy of it that I had already contained music, so I had to remove the audio completely and build it up from scratch. Every sound you hear in the intro was recorded just the other day and spliced together to try and make it sound like it's coming from the video clip. Only after making it did I realise just how similar this intro is to the previous episode, and it nicely contrasts the different approaches that I took when producing these two episodes. Which just leaves the gameplay. I knew from the word go that five expert bots would be overkill. They're a lot more lethal than the bots in Global Offensive and properly aimbot your ass into oblivion. But going low wouldn't be the same if I won, would it? I recorded it all in about 30 minutes and edited it together in two hours. It was ludicrously easy to do and showed me just how bloated my other videos have become in comparison. I really enjoyed making this project. And then the forgotten stage of making a video. Polishing. This is when you've done everything and simply have to render it and then look for mistakes of which there are always many. You get rid of the big ones, re-render, find more, re-render, then start getting picky, choosing to adjust small things like the way the camera zooms, or brightening a dark sequence, or whatever, which may break something and then lead to big mistakes again. This is a part of video editing that has really grown for me. It used to be a case of re-rendering once or twice. Now, for a large video like this one, it can be up to a dozen times. And I always rush it and assume it's done, only to find out after I've uploaded it that there are still problems with it. That's why I've also started uploading versions early on for other people to criticise, since it takes a lot of willpower to change the video after having spent so long polishing what's already there. For this one, it took about 14 straight hours of polishing. Even now, there might still be issues with the video, but I don't think I can face watching it again to find out. So all in all, another video that I can happily forget about as I look forward to the next big thing. Fun fact, I've already made more Going Low episodes in 2016 than I did last year, though that's not saying much.